cunt. Do you think that Martha Corey was really a witch? No. It's recorded history that she had a broom stuck in her cunt. <laughs> Where was the broom? Up her cunt. Huh. Are we still on the air? We're still on the air. Uh. Hocus, hocus, poke my cunt. <laughs> Steve Martin. Mr. Martin, we uh, seem to have gotten disconnected. We're back on the air with the Jack and Rod show. What had happened there? Well, I don't know. The, uh, the the guest you had on there was asking me some very strange and personal questions that I didn't feel like I wanted to answer. Oh, well, you know what? She doesn't have a lot of decorum for the air, and we're real sorry about that. Uh -huh. Yeah, we apologize. So l let's move on. Why was your grandmother hung? Uh, my grandmother was hanged because people thought she was a witch, and she... Uh... Are you hung? I'm sorry, but I can't, uh, if this is a real interview here, I can't give it if I'm going to be interrupted like this. Keep going. We're sorry. Uh-huh. So go ahead. Continue on with the story of your grandmother being hung. Yeah, well, she was not hung. She was hanged. And, uh... Do you have any coke? The, um, fact of the matter was that people were afraid of. I'll suck your cock for some weed. Hello? Can I speak with Ethel Stippington? That's me. Uh, you recently inquired about earning your AA in business administration online, is that correct? That's right. Great. Well, I'm a member of the university enrollment team, and I'm calling to see how our program can fit your needs. Do you have a few minutes? Definitely. Okay. Well, I'm just going to ask you a few questions to make sure you qualify for the program, okay? Right. Now, it says here that you've had some college experience and you're 22 years of age or older, correct? That's true. So how much... I'm 26. Oh, you're 26. Yeah. Now, how much college do you have, Ethel? How much what? College do you have. Can you repeat that? How much college experience do you have? A little have? hard of hearing. <sighs> um, Thank you. What was that? How much college do you have? Two, two years. Two years? What college did you attend? What? What college did you attend? <laughs> Who? What college did you attend? Could you repeat that? I said, what college? I'm very sorry, but it's hard for me to hear. And I, the hearing aids made me feel unbalanced when I walked. Yes. I can definitely understand that. I've been smoking cigarettes since I was seven, and it screwed up my hearing. Oh, I see. What? Now, where did you go to school previously? Did you repeat that? Where did you previously <laughs> attend school? Huh? Do you think it would be a better idea for us to communicate via email? By mail? Email. I don't have a computer. Okay, well... This is Just talk louder. This is an online program. Do you have computer access? Yes, I have a dog. Thank you. Are you interested in earning... What did you want? Are you interested in earning a degree from university? My birthday was three days ago. How did you know? Thank you. Have a nice day. You cocksucker. Hello. Are you there, Bob? What kind of dog is that you said? Uh, these dogs are barking. What kind of dog is that? Uh, it's a uh, half toy poodle and half uh, griffon. You said what kind of dog is that? I say it's a sheen dog. What other kind of dog would it be? I can send you a picture of them. Okay, great. Let me, uh, i got to find a pencil and I'll write down your email address. Okay. Just a minute, hang on. Okay, just, I, all I need is the email address. Okay, good. What is it? I need your email address He's going so I nuts. can send you a picture. Pay me. Pictures are free. Good luck with that. I'll send you the pictures of the puppies free. If you buy ten copies, I get one free. That's how we roll. Can you give me your email address? Yeah. Winner.com. Winner? W-I-N-N-E-R? 
Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I don't think so. Winner, winner, sheen dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner dot com. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I need. Well, hello, duh. Winning. Winning at winter dot com. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I don't think so. Winner, winner, sheen dinner. Okay, just a minute. Winning at chicken dinner. <laughs> yeah. Duh. <laughs> Winning at chicken dinner dot com. I'm sorry. Oh my God. W i n n i n g. <laughs> winning at chickendinner dot com. I don't think so. Winner, winner, sheen dinner. <laughs> Is it chicken dinner or sheen dinner? What? Is it sheen dinner or winner chicken dinner? Okay, good. What is it? I want you to tell me what it is. Good luck with that. Hey, man. Yeah, hi. I'd like to make an order. Okay. One large half pepperoni. Uh huh. One large half sausage. One a oh, one large half pepperoni. One large half sausage. Uh, Diane, pick up the phone. Hello, hello. Yeah. What else you got, Diane? Do you have wing dings or anything like that? We have the whole chicken wing. Well, that's that'll work just great. Give us a big, big order of that. We got a six piece, ten piece. You can order many as you want. At Alicot, they're a dollar piece. Dollar piece or fifty piece? You want a fifty piece wing? No, I, no. Give us the five of the ten piece. You want five, ten piece? Just give us twenty five of the ten piece. Okay. Five of the ten piece price, please, and uh -huh. twenty five for the ten. Okay. Now, hold on. Is Rodrigo here? He's it. He's back in the office. Let me go get him. Just do me a favor, please, so we don't screw up this order. Read the order back to him, and then he'll tell you what else he needs to add for his workers, okay? Yeah, okay. Hold on. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Rodrigo. Uh -huh. Yes, I'd like to make an order. Yeah? Okay, I'm going to put my brother on the phone. He's going to read you the order back. Okay? Okay. Hello, sir? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rodrigo's on the phone. Please read him the order. He's going to go pick it up. Go. Okay. A large one-half pepperoni. A large pepperoni? He told me one-half. Now, you wanted a whole pepperoni all over? All pepperoni. All pepperoni? Okay. Oh. Uh, pepperoni all over, right? Pepperoni all over. Okay. Okay. And a, and a half sausage. You want sausage all over? Uh, sausage all over. Oh, one, one, one pepperoni all over. Right. And one sausage all over. One who? One sausage all over. Sausage all over. Okay. okay. Then he got ten wing, ten fifty wings. Ten, ten half wings. He got fifty wings. Fifty. 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 Okay. Five zero. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to total? You want to? Do you want to total? Ninety three forty. Yeah, total is fifty two fifty one. Come to what? Uh, sixty two. Uh, no. Fifty one cents. No. no. Ninety three forty. Ninety three forty? Ninety three forty. Uh-huh. You don't have my menu, do you? Okay. Uh hey, pick up. Uh huh? Okay. What time uh, you pick it up? Okay, what time you picking it up? Uh your phone number? My phone number? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just called it. He knows it Yeah. Um, excuse me? Where is it where? Okay. You want to deliver or you come and pick up? You got to pick it up. We don't deliver it. Okay. Okay, this is the address? 312. Mm-hmm. 12305. No, no. 312. One, two, three. No, no. Yeah. 305. No, 312. No, no, no. For the river, it's one, two. No. We've got a caller on board, so hang on for just a second. Hey, yes, guys. Hello. Hey. Hey, hey. You were online. Did you guys last night watch the Chicago Blackhawks game? No, I, we did, I not. did not. Did you? Yeah, they, the Blackhawks did awesome. They beat the Lightning. <laughs> I think the Blackhawks are going to go all the way this year. I, I'm from Chicago. <laughs> what do you do for a living? Are you a coach or what do you do? I was a coach. I'm an electrician now, but when I've had a rough day, I just come home and, and my apartment's decked out in all Blackhawks stuff. And I've just been a fan of Blackhawks, you know, <laughs> since I was a kid. And I just, you know, Blackhawks so Black make Hawks me really your happy. We, your tribe is the Blackhawks. Why do you love the Blackhawks? Blackhawks so much. Well, being from Chicago and just always being around the Blackhawks, you know, I've been surrounded by the Blackhawks all my life. Blackhawks just make me really happy. 
You are the Blackhawks. The Blackhawks you sure Black are you. That's right. Well, are you a oh. fan of the Blackhawks? I'm a Rangers fan, personally. Thanks for calling. Appreciate it. Okay, Blackhawks are huge this year, so. They are. Well, we'll, we'll be rooting for you. All right, go Blackhawks. Go. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. You know what's beautiful about this is this gentleman, he won. He had positive energy. He was excited about his try. <laughs> he was busting at the seams. Perfect. Yeah, that's that's a raving Blackhawk fan. Go Blackhawks. And we're back with Health Tuesday on the Jack and Rod Show. And today's special guest rod is Joyce Graff, and she's going to reveal what you need to tell your doctor so you're not a victim of malpractice. How you doing, Joyce? I'm doing great. And Joyce, we have a victim of malpractice right here in the studio. He was a jackhammer operator and suffered major hearing loss. Let's hear it for Riley the janitor. Riley, hi, it's Joyce. Uh -huh. Hi. Can you hear me okay? Uh -huh. uh, so, uh, do you want to tell me a little bit about what's going on? Uh -huh. uh, Jack and Rod, this is not working real well. You just have to speak up a little bit. He's hard of hearing. I'm sorry. Yeah. First thing you have to do is get a proper diagnosis of exactly what's going on. Uh -huh. What, uh -huh. what diagnosis did they give you? Uh, 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 well, coming back to the sorts of things that you need to do, you need to make uh -huh. su make sure that uh -huh. you understand the diagnosis uh -huh. that is given to you. You're talking over him. He's trying to listen to you. Well, Rod, I'm not making much progress here, so if you can repeat the question, it might be helpful. What was the question again? What diagnosis was he given? Uh -huh. What diagnosis were you given? Uh, huh? Riley, what did the doctor tell you? Uh -huh. <laughs> what did the doctor tell you? Uh, huh? <laughs> Riley, talk oh to me. Uh -huh. Rod, unless you can get the question through to him, I'm going to have to hang up. He started to answer. Can you ask him a choice? Riley, talk to me. What did the doctor say? Uh -huh. oh, fuck. <laughs> Riley, can you hear me? Uh -huh. Riley, can you hear me? Uh -huh. <laughs> Upper cunt. It was the father that gave this kid money that he could buy a gun. Good morning, caller. Thanks for waiting. Thank you, guys. I've been going through some troubles myself with my mother. I um, unfortunately found her having an affair with my friend who's 15 years old. Oh, God. Yeah. I well, you certainly what... shouldn't blame yourself. My mom is here. I mean, could you talk to her? Would it be okay? Uh, certainly we could talk to her. I've only got about eight minutes. Hello? Hello. Hello. Uh, he came over. He's a nice boy. Uh, he um, was a gentleman. I kissed him. This, uh, I, I, I don't even know how you could do that. And that's when I found them together. Well, you know, it is so outrageous. I, I'd never heard of something. I know he was here to help you with your homework, but uh, who knew it would lead to him coming all over my face? Um, it was my... Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, but what, what, what can I tell you? Yes, and we apologize to our listeners. We, we have another very call, John. That's John, we have another call. Hold on a minute. Good morning, caller. We had asked to man. Okay. <clears throat> Good morning, caller. How are you? Blue has such a nice cock. Oh, okay, we will get rid of you, whatever. So, um, but what, what what can I tell you? That story. Hello? 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 Yes? Hello? Yeah, this is a cleaner. How you doing, man? Good, thank you. I have these gray pants uh, from John Barbados, you know? You have a pen. 
And the instructions are don't use any heat on them. Right. Don't put them in the dryer. And I know somebody put these in the dryer. No, we never wash it dry cleaning. We don't put the dryer machine. <laughs> Fuck, I know somebody put them in the fucking hot water or whatever something. Like I, I dry, <laughs> I dry clean. I dry clean. I don't put the dryer machine. These were such great pants. These were my these were my go to pants. <laughs> okay, but I wanna really help you. But oh, it looks like shit. I'll come help you. <laughs> oh, and my balls are getting squeezed. Oh man. <laughs> And my balls are like all scrunched into them. <laughs> oh my god! I'm telling you, these pants are now grabbing my balls. Like when I sit down, I'm telling you, everything's changed on them. Okay. Thank God I have a small cock. There'd be no room if I had one. Oh, okay. I'm really sorry. <laughs> like my cock is inverted, so it's like fine. You need, yeah. Uh, yeah, you need a, you need a new pants. Like damn it, gorgeous. Bye. Just go department. Uh, you have to buy like a fit on your your body. <laughs> my whole belly's sticking over them. <laughs> you have a big belly, okay? Oh, my whole belly's sticking over these pants now. <laughs> you did, yeah. Um, do you need um, new pants? Uh, you're big. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'm so huge. Okay, so I'm busy now. So I think I have to hang up. I'm just trying to get it worked out. Oh, okay. I have to hang on now. Okay, I gotta go. Okay, bye. <laughs> and that's it. Then I'm fucked. Damn it. <laughs> Hello, agency. Hello. Is this the adoption agency? This is the adoption agency. Can I help you? Hi. Uh, you know who this is? Uh, no. My name is, is Dave Letterman. We have a, I have a TV show here in New York City. Oh, I know you. You know, yeah. Uh, are you a fan of me? Oh, yeah, definitely. This, this is a personal, private call. I just want to. I just want this to be uh, kept discreet, if we could. Absolutely. Every call I have is confidential. All right. Very good. I just. I just want to let you know we want to adopt a, a black child, and. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Well, I specialize. Let in me that. ask you something now. How long does the How long does the process uh, take? With an African American placement, it is a lot faster than normal. Well, now I prefer a light-skinned black, <laughs> as you know, close to white as possible. You know, sort of like uh, Paul Abdulish. Uh, there is more than one kind of African American child. All right. Now, are are uh, are the light-skinned uh, light-skinned uh, blacks are they less rambunctious? What does that mean? <laughs> are, are they rowdy? No, it all depends on how you uh -huh. raise them. Can I now? Let me ask you this: Can I return him after my ratings go up? Because you know, once these guys get older, I hear they can get pretty dangerous. No, because I, I don't want my girlfriend to you know to get in trouble or anything like that. I don't understand. Now, will I be insured in case things go missing from my house? You know, like a TV or a boombox. What are you talking about? I'm just, and can these kids play uh, basketball yet? The, oh, I'm sorry. These are these are new uh, these are new uh, children. I, I don't want my girlfriend to get raped, you know what I'm saying? No, I don't know what you're saying. Do you guys uh, give out coupons with, uh, with the child, you know, like for grape juice and, and spare ribs, that kind of thing? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. No, it's not. No, I'm very serious. These are newborn babies, bundles of joy that you parent from day one. As far as feeding them, can I put a watermelon through a juicer? What? No, I just... Do you uh, conduct tests on the kids, too? Because I, I don't want a gay one. This is a totally inappropriate conversation, yeah. and I'm going to ask I've, you I've had a few drinks. I'm sorry. You had a few drinks? It's only 1.30 in the afternoon. Well, you know. You know, I love Sinbad. <laughs> Can I get one that looks like him? Uh, what the hell are you talking about? I'm really a very loving person. I didn't mean to upset or offend anybody. If you wind up becoming a parent of an African-American child, I sure hope you don't joke like that. Do they come with a cage? Oh. This is a totally inappropriate conversation, and if you're serious, come in and file an application. Well, I need, I need a playmate for Paul Schaefer. You know what, Mr. Letterman? Thanks for wasting my time. No, I mean, do the, does the agency provide me with uh, separate uh, uh, dining facilities for the black for my black son? Get the hell off my phone. Do you uh, douche with coconut juice? Fuck off. <laughs> Hello. You were racist. Hey, how you doing, pal? Good. Uh, what's the uh, pizza supreme? Sausage, pepperoni, mushroom, peppers, onions, and anchovy. Oh, that sounds delicious. I will take it. Your name? Oh, but hold the pepperoni. Yeah. And hold the onions. And no onion? Right. And uh, hold the anchovies. So you want sausage? Oh, no, no. No sausage, please. So you want mushroom and pepper? Oh, no, 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 no. No mushrooms and no peppers. 
You tell me you want a pizza with everything, then you tell me no pepperoni, no onion, no anchovy, no sausage. That's right. So you want a large regular pie. Yes, but hold the cheese, hold the sauce, and hold the crust on that pie. Do me a favor. Go fuck yourself. Hello? Hello? Hi, I'd like to make an order for a pickup. Okay, what do you need? I'd like to get a chicken parm hero. Hold the chicken and hold the sauce. Okay, your mother's holding my cock. But, Sonny, what kind of language is that to tell an old lady? Stop wasting my time, you asshole. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'd like to make an order, please. What do you need? Hold on, Tony, what do you want? Hey, Becky, give me a big ziti. I need one big ziti. Yeah. Hold the ziti. Hold the ziti. And we're back with the Jack and Rod Radio Show. Today's special guest, Dr. Yu Chen. She's the author of The Voice and Medicine. How you doing, Dr. Chen? Fine. I'm here. Give us a brief background on Chinese medical practices. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Chinese uh, medicine has about 3,000 years history. That's fascinating, Dr. Chen. Now I'd like to introduce our special guest. He's been smoking for 87 years and recently had a tracheotomy and now speaks through a cancer kazoo. Please welcome Smokey Martling. Hi. Smokey, how are you? Hi, Smokey. First of all, uh, I think you have to stop smoking, okay? Uh, by the end. Okay. Uh, I think you can use the scab acupuncture, okay? Uh, I, I think you have to interpret that. I really admire your spirit. Thank you, Smokey. Any more questions? Uh, one more thing, Smokey. Okay. Well, Wait, did, I'm sorry, you didn't answer his last question. What is the last question? Uh, how can you get help? Is that right? Yes? Yeah, good. Do some acupuncture. Try to speak. You can do it. You will speak clearly later, but you do need some treatment, that's for sure. You know, uh, Dr. Smokey just said that he wanted to give you his phone number. Do you have a pen handy? You want yes. To... <laughs> Hi, Smokey, give me your phone number. Uh, Smokey, due to the phone number has to be very precise. Yes. Is that seven? Three, seven, one? What? Two, two? Uh, okay. Uh, Smokey, uh, you can ask Jack and Rod get my phone number, too. Yeah? Are you interested in that? No? Uh, I wish you good luck. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Hello? Hey, cuz, you got any hay for sale? Yes, sir. How much you want for that, cuz? $40 a bale. Jesus, $40? Yeah. $40? Did you fall out of a gooseberry tree and hit your gosh darn head? You crazy, cuz. Buddy, I don't want to say you no hay. Let me tell you something, cuz. For $40, that hay better suck my cock and clean my kitchen, too. I ain't got to listen to you, cuz, and act stupid. Stupid? Stupid's charging $40 a bale, you dad burn water head. Don't call back no more. Whoa, hold your horses, cuz. <laughs> Hello? Hey, how you doing, buddy? Pretty good. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. I just saw your ad in the Just calling about your hay. Uh-huh. Don't you buy uh. anything from this shyster. What'd you say? I didn't say nothing. I heard something on the phone there. It, it sounded like somebody else talking. I said don't buy anything from this no good shyster. Uh? Who is that? He's trying to rip you off, cuz. I can hear somebody saying you're ripping y'all. That's not coming from my end. Hang up, cuz. This waterhead's trying to rip you off. Is this some kind of joke, sir? Well, somebody else is talking on this phone. I don't know how they're doing it. Because this guy's an imbecile. Don't buy shit from him. How dare you call me an imbecile? I'm not the one talking. Well, somebody just called somebody stupid. 
Hey there, somebody else talking on this phone. Because you didn't know I worked for the phone company. There's going to be trouble. You hear that? I did, and I don't appreciate your tone. Uh, that ain't me. Don't buy from this halfwit. He ain't no good. What the hell is this? Hey, I don't know what it is. That's right. I ain't no dumb ox. I work for the gosh darn phone company. I tap into your phone. He, he says, I hear him saying he works for the phone company. He can tap in the phone line. Hmm. All right. I'm not my from my computer anymore. What'd you say it was per bail? $20. How much? It's $40 a bail, and that's $3. It. Oh, thanks. $3? That's your price per bail? $40 a bail. I'll for $1.50. dollar fifty. $1.50? Done deal, pal. I'll take it. Bye, fella. 50 cents. My final <laughs> offer. I for cunch. Hello? Sona, uh, the, uh, hey? Yes, sir. Okay, how much you looking for? $40 a bail. Jesus Christ, $40 a fucking bail. Can we work out a deal? No, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, and uh, is it this year's or last year's? This year's. Well, how am I supposed to know it's this year's? Buddy, I don't want to say you know how. Thank you. <laughs> Hello? Hey, quick finger. Am I a fucking asshole or uh, you just keep hanging up on me? It sounds like you're an asshole. I said I wasn't selling you no hay. And I said to you that I want to make sure it's this fucking year's hay so when I come down there, I don't get ripped off like a fucking jerk. Well, I can't help it. All I can tell you is I cut it the other day and it's sitting in the field. I'll bury my fucking nose right into that bale, and I'll tell you if it's this year's or last year's. What? Well, don't, don't even come. Now, how much you want a bail? $40 a bail. $40? Yeah. Are you out of your fucking mind? Bye, fella. Don't call back no more. I ain't spending $40 on that shit. Good. I'm going to keep calling you, you cocksucker, until you drop the price. Hello? <coughs> Garrett, it's Hardy. What's up, man? Hardy. Um, listen, man, I'm not going to come in today. I'm sick. Yeah? I'm sick as a dog. I got a fever. Maybe you called the wrong number. <coughs> That's like... <coughs> okay. Uh, it's 5 a.m. on Monday. Well, according to my clock, it's 8 o'clock in the morning, not 5 o'clock in the morning. <coughs> and, um, I don't know, I'm going to try to get rid of this today. Get rid of what? Um, I don't know. No, this is the wrong number. This is <laughs> Avenue. It's the only number I figured I could call. Okay, but you're calling the wrong number. I don't have no one works for me. <laughs> it's only me and my cousin. All right, so I'm not going to be there today. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm a... Rest today. I should be there tomorrow. Where? Hopefully. All right. I'm sorry. Okay, that's fine with me. What am I gonna tell you? Don't be here. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Okay, that's fine. All right. So I'm not gonna be there today. I think you got wrong. Uh, I'm. I'm a <laughs> rest today. I should be there tomorrow. Hopefully. All right. I'm sorry. You don't work here. Nobody works in this place but me and my cousin. I don't even know you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on down. Gary, it's already, uh... Who's on? Need more ammunition. Who is this? And what are you wanting from me? Why are you... It's, uh, it's Thursday morning. I can't stop throwing up or shitting. I told you this last time. <laughs> I don't know you. I don't know your name. I don't know why you keep on calling me. Stop bothering um, me. Sorry I had to bleep that, but, uh... What believe? Believe what? What are you talking about? You I, got, I got some sort of stomach virus. I don't believe anything killing me. Said. I gotta go, uh... I'm going to the doctor, so I'm not going to be there today, so... Oh, uh, okay. Go see a doctor before you drop dead. Have a good time with this one. I'll, Man, I'll probably be in tomorrow. I know I will be, so no matter I what. I see you coming in the store. I promise you. I'll punch you in the mouth. I don't want you in the store tomorrow. It's better than dealing with this, so... Go ahead. Deal with it. And go fuck yourself. Sorry, guy. <laughs> Later. Later. Whatever. Hello? Hi, I'm calling about the stuff that you have for sale. Okay. The wheelbarrow is gone. What did you, what were you interested in? Do you still have the wheelbarrow? No, the wheelbarrow is gone. I'd love to buy the bookcase. The bookcase is gone. What about the leather chair? The leather chair is gone. Huh. But I'm interested in the wheelbarrow. Yeah, I've told you that the wheelbarrow is gone. Oh, you mean you don't have it. On. The wheelbarrow sold immediately. Mm. My husband was interested in the leather chair. Well, that is gone. Mm. And he was wondering about the wheelbarrow. Yeah, but no, that's gone. How, what condition is the leather chair in? The leather chair is gone. Somebody <laughs> bought it. It's gone. Oh, could I come look at it? It's gone. It's been sold. I don't know if I'm understanding the bookcase you have no okay then the wheelbarrow you have no now look 
I'll tell you one more time, and maybe you need to get... Is there somebody there with you? Well, my cat is sitting right here next to me in the chair. I think, I think, I, I think we're having trouble communicating. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear, but my grandson's at work. He's not here now. Okay, I'm well, sure. when he comes back, you can tell him to call me, and I'll give him the message, okay? After work, could he come by and look at the wheelbarrow? I told you the wheelbarrow has been sold. I do not have the wheelbarrow. Oh, somebody bought it? Right. Oh, but he was still interested in the bookcase. Well, the bookcase, somebody also has taken that away. It's been sold. Hmm. Well, I mean, the one... Well, listen, I'll tell you, I have to get off the phone, but you have a good day, and thank you is, for calling. Well, real quick, the leather chair, what is that it? That is gone. It's been sold. Someone came with a truck and took it away. I do not have it anymore. The, is it a folding, a rocking, or... No, a, a, no, no, and it's gone. It's gone. They have it. I don't have it anymore. Okay, goodbye. I have to go. You have a nice day. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye. <laughs> Hello? Hi, ma'am. I just got off the phone with my grandson. Yeah? He wanted me to ask you how many wheels is on the wheelbarrow. Howard, <laughs> and I'll be with you till about noon. Got an email just popped up here for sale. A Jigaboo Scary Jigsaw Puzzle. Great for kids, perfect for Halloween party. Rare item, made in 1977 by the Jigaboo Gaming Company. Asking $15 for that uh, puzzle. But anyway, if you're interested, you can call s three five to just ask for Rusty. And uh, that, like I say, that just came in. Lucky. Okay, let's go to the phone to see who we might have. Swap and shop. Good morning. How you doing today? Pretty good. How you doing? I'm doing good. This good. is Mr. Enoff from Enoff Farms. Mm -hmm. This is Jack Enoff. Mm -hmm. Enoff Farms. Yes, sir. And uh, I'm selling a refurbished family cow milking system. Uh, the pump runs on a standard 110, 115. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello? Oh, oh you, you, were, you kind of disappeared on me there. It's a grade A stainless steel surge milker. It's refurbished with new cell phone in. Uh huh. <laughs> House and Reebok service. Uh huh. Bench tested and calibrated. <laughs> you keep going, you keep disappearing on me. Leach brush and repair instructions. Hello? Yes, sir. I, I say you keep disappearing. You you kind of fade away all the time. What's your phone number? Okay. Yeah, my phone? Yes, sir. The number. Yeah, I can't hear you. You're fading away as well. Can you say, speak a little louder? What is your phone number? <laughs> I'll tell you. Well, well, well. well mm -hmm. It's soft, pliable, silicone, grip better. Soft, gentle well, that that that's all fine and good, sir. That's we'll we'll we'll, we'll just have to let you go. And uh, thank you for calling. Bye bye. And that's it for this morning, folks. Take care. Bye bye. Abercrombie. Hello. 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 Hey. Who is this? Maury Povich. I don't know you, Maury Povich. Jump the cock. Jump the cock. Oh, I'm going to come. Brrr. Hello? Hello? That's me. Oh, yeah. hey. Hello? Hey. Mm-hmm. Hello? Who you, who you want to speak to? Bob. I can't understand you. I got a question. Well, what is the question? You ever get a little hot wax on the ass? <laughs> if you call him again, I'm going to find you and whoop your goddamn ass. You want to fight me? Come down here. You want to fight me? You can't take me. I beat you like a red-headed stepchild. Yeah, and I'll blow your goddamn head off. You come down. Don't you call back in no more. You don't scare me, tough guy. Well, come on. <laughs> Some old goddamn messenger or something. Cut him off. Hello? You fucking prick motherfucker! You another motherfucker, you fuck your mammy! You stupid cocksucker! <laughs> Hello? What are you gonna say now, right? I don't wanna start no thing. What do you want? I want someone to do the black man handshake on my prick. Listen, let me tell you one goddamn thing. 
If I know where you at, I come blow your goddamn head off your ignorant, no good, went back motherfucker. <laughs> you don't scare me, tough guy. You don't scare me either. You don't scare me either. You don't scare me. You'll get a you foot up your ass either. before you even get close went to me. Back motherfucker. Let me call the law. You're talking to fucking me. How do you like that? Tough guy. <laughs> I'm going to knock the first one of you goddamn wet backs I see in the motherfucking head till I get the right one. Now, you stop calling him. Yo, motherfucker what you are. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hi, Santa! Hello, little boy. How are you doing? Santa! It's you! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! What's your name? This is little Eric. Hi, little Eric. Have you been good this year? Yes. And what would you like for Christmas? Five gallons of wonton soup. Five gallons of wonton soup? Seven large fries, 16 burritos, four slabs of spare ribs, five milkshakes. You're going to have a big tummy ache after this. I've been a good boy, so don't fuck with me. I was going to need the curse now. Okay, why do you sound Mexican, Santa? Mexican? Stuff my stocker with sandwiches. You want sandwiches now? Yes. You just want food for Christmas? I want food, and lots of it, and a diaper, so I can shit myself while I'm eating. Uh, a case of tacos, the ten buckets of chicken. Okay, I got everything. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have to go now. We have a lot of work to do here. Cut the shit, Santa! I'm hungry. You want to call with something important? Call me back. No. Hold on, I got more. No, that's it. Hold the fuck on. You have a nice day. You have a nice day. Goodbye. Santa, no! Bye. I fucking took off school to call you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, we, I need you to come up to the show. I need you to do something for me. What? <laughs> I need you to do something for me. Well, who are you? Yeah, the engineer. Who do you think you're talking to? I need you to come up here and ride the Sibian. No. I'm not going nowhere. How about coming up here and getting topless? Any problem with that? I'm not going any place. Nowhere. And if you call me again, you're in big trouble. Topless. Topless. T O P L E S S. I know what you're saying. Yeah, okay. Now you do it when you when you get here. You'll do it. I'm 82 years old. I'm not going no place. I need you to come up here and ride the Sibian. You go straight to hell and quit calling me. Okay, fine. Hello. Topless. No problem with that. Yes, there's a problem with that. I'm not doing it. Now you do it when you when you get here. You'll do it. I am not going nowhere. How about coming up here and getting topless? No. Either you're gonna bang her, Audie, or she sounds like she's about going fifteen. I'm not going anywhere. Are oh, you gonna come up? We want you to come up. I'm not going no place. Yeah, okay. You'll do it. You'll do it. No. Now you do it when you when you get here. You'll do it. No. Topless. No problem with that. I'm not doing it, you son of a bitch. T O P L E S S. Topless. I don't get topless. No, are you going to come up to the show? No. No problem with that? I need you to come up here and ride the Sibian. Yeah, she sounds like she's immature, though. <laughs> We've got another caller. Thank you for calling. I am just wondering that uh, man cunt that's going on in New York, why do you think they haven't caught these guys? It's strange to me that it's taken this long. You, you, you have an opinion on this, I can tell. I just think that, that something smells fishy uh, with this man cunt in general. I mean, there are very few people who know how to handle a man cunt, and I think... Have they been distracted, <laughs> do you think? Do you think they're putting their efforts into it? I don't think they really spread out the man cunt enough to get inside of it. These are men who love the thrill of the cunt. We kind of have a different perspective there. I, I really hope, you know, they, they can put this man cunt to an end and, and snatch these men. There's, there's nothing worse than a long, sloppy man cunt. All right, sir. Thank you, and God bless. God bless. Upper cunt. Folks believe that Black Lives Matter organizers should have done more. Um, I'm going to take a phone call. I see Michael. Somebody got, actually got their name. What's your comment or question? Hello, my brothers and sisters. I wanted to tell you I support you in your struggle against the white man. Okay. Thank you. My name is Michael Caine, and I am a famous English actor. Oh. I'm very famous. I played Batman's butler. Oh, thank you for, thank you for listening. Black Lives Matter. Yes. 
and not just the sexy ones. Even ugly black people matter. Oh Boris Whitaker, oh. Patrick Ewing, they matter too. Oh my gosh! I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to see how can I handle this situation, but. Carla, so you said you were an actor, right? Yes. I looked him up. That's a famous actor. He was from, uh, he was just in a new Batman movie, Dark Knight. He's Alfred. Yes. Oh. Really? Yeah. That's dope. It is simply the bomb.com. What do you think about Adele? I love black so much, I think the next president of the United States of America should be Missy Elliott. I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with you I don't think that. I'm voting for her. I don't think I'm voting for her. I love black so much, I named my dog Suge Knight. Oh, okay. But, I'm um, sick of crackers. Keeping my Nubian pals down. Okay, Carla. Kill Whitey. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Rise up, blacks. Fuck the police. Burber. Oh, that is uncalled for. Because not every police is racist. Also, not every... fuck the fire department. Why do you hate the fire department? What did the fire department do? I once had sex with a black woman, and I didn't go oh back. Oh, my gosh. Is this the same person? And this is the thing. I'm glad you said that, Carla, because there's a lot of white folks that want to have sex with black women. Whenever I smell cocoa butter, I get as stiff as a ball. Oh, my God. Why, why do you want to have sex with a black woman? Why not white? Here's how not racist I am. I bet not all of your dicks are big. Okay. Oh my gosh. You like right, what? Caller. Okay, I had to get you off. Um, you didn't over talk yeah. yourself. <laughs> oh my god. All right, my white brother. Well, shout out to you, Michael Kane. Thank you for listening. Chum, good morning. Good morning. Hi, how are you? I'm doing okay. And how are you? Oh, I'm good. Thank you. God bless you, Jack. Good to hear your voice. How are you doing today? I'm doing fairly well. Good. I just want to say God bless you and God bless all the DJs there, Richard, Bobby, and Rodney. I hope they're doing well. Oh, yeah. They're doing good. Oh, good to hear that. I want to say God bless my grandson, Rusty. He just started summer vacation today. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. He's going to be playing baseball this summer. Well, great. And I just wanted to say God bless the USA and our troubled economy. I hope things are going to get better. Well, it seems to be improving a little bit. A little bit. And <laughs> yeah. just wanted to say yeah, God bless the Kansas City Royals. My grandson's a big fan of them, and they're doing pretty good this year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're doing good. I love base. God bless baseball. It's a good pastime. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to say also, God bless the auto industry. You know, they're having a lot of trouble. They so. sure are. And God bless Jesus. You know, Jesus, the reason <laughs> you and I are here. Amen to that. Amen. Good. Amen, Jack. God bless you, Jack. Okay, thank you. I want to say, Jack, hello? Yes. Oh, I just want to say, too, I want to say God bless the weather we've been having. Oh, yeah, it's been great. Pretty nice, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just want to say, you know, God bless the, the phone companies, too, because without them, I wouldn't even be talking to you right you now. You got that right. And, you know, so God bless technology, too, and God bless Alexander Graham Bell for inventing the telephone, because uh, without that, I don't know how i talk to you, Jack. I hear you. <laughs> I guess I'd have to come up to the radio station there and you go. talk to you in person. But And also, God bless email and computers, because people are able to email their swap shop items into you. Yeah, that's it. Computer, so God bless that. And God bless microphones, because you're able to talk on the radio, and I love your voice. Well, thank you, sir. I and want you to God have a good bless, day. And God bless y- your sponsors, too. I want you to got say. that right. Yeah, right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. And God bless chairs, because I know right now you're sitting in a chair, and it probably you'd have to stand up and do your podcast <laughs> if you didn't have so whoever invented the chair, God bless you. And and I just wanted to also say God bless God because without God and Jesus and Mary and Joseph, I don't think anything would be happening on this earth. You're right. Without anything. And I just wanted to say, you know, God bless vitamins because I have old bones and my bones are just not working like they used to. But with vitamins, they're working a little better than they, they yeah, were. That's and, great. You know, and God bless doctors for helping me. And, you know, and I also had a problem with my rectum and my doctor fixed it up. He patched it up. It fell out the other day because I'm getting a little older, you know, as we all are, Jack. Right. And he, my rectum fell off, and he put it back in there, and it seems to be working fine. I, I, you know, I went to the bathroom this morning, and everything came out all right. God, God bless.
bless my rectum and God bless God and my doctors and, and God bless, you know, my grandson, Rusty. And God, is there anything I'm missing, Jim? I think you got them all, sir. Yeah, okay. Thank you, sir. Well, did I say God bless the other DJs? Yes, sir. You there? got it. God bless. Uh, hold on, my grandson on the say. What, son? Oh, God bless our blessings. You got that right. Thank God you, sir. Better go. Our blessings. All right. You know, make sure, don't forget, Jack, to count your blessings. I do every day. Thank okay. you, sir. Okay. Oh, and God bless. God bless. <laughs> All right. And we'll be back in just a moment. Uh, Hello, f- taxi. Hi, uh, hello. Uh, I need a car. Did you hear who was coming to town? Who? Oh. Why, Santa Claus, of course! That's me! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Ho, what are you, ho, out of your fucking mind or what? Why, of course! I'm out of my mind with Christmas cheer! Ho, ho, ho! You better watch out! You better not cry! Ho, ho, ho. Hello? Young boy, that was very naughty of you to hang up on Santa Claus! Keep on calling. I'll keep on tracing, scumbag. Oh, tracing Santa's call will get you coal in your stocking. Oh, 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 oh. Stop fucking around, you jerk off. Oh, cursing is very naughty. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus Christ, why don't I get all the fucking jerks? Uh, yes, sir, uh, I'm in a bit of a hurry. What time is it? It's 8 o'clock in the morning, 8.08. 8. No, it's Christmas time! Ho, 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 ho! And I was speaking to one of your naughty young boys there because I need a taxi to deliver toys to all the young boys. Yeah, I'm sure you do. And your ankle braces those off, too. Goodbye. Oh, that's no way to talk to Santa Claus, young boy! Ho, 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 ho! Come on. Yes, hello. Uh, quick question. Do you have trunk space available? Yes. Wonderful! Ho, ho, for Santa's sack of toys! Ho, ho, Here we go again. Ho, ho. You really got no fucking life, do you? Uh, yes, I need a car, please. Where are you? Why, I'm at the North Pole! It's Santa Claus! Ho, 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 ho. Yo, jag off! Listen, Why'd you sit on my North Pole? Listen, you're calling here for a time check. Look on your fucking reindeer, jerk off. Oh, well, my reindeer are in the kitchen with Mrs. Claus baking pies for Christmas. Oh, oh. And Miss Claus is looking at my dick right now. Your wife's a good head, pal. Whoa, you are very naughty, young man. You might get a spanking from Santa this Christmas Eve. Oh, 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 oh. Sure. Oh, I must tell you, young man, Mrs. Claus is very upset about what you said. She does not suck dick. That's a bullshit already. Oh, no! Oh, no! no. So, so. Hello? Yeah, who is this? Shuni? Who are you calling? Shuni. I think you must have the wrong number. God damn it. What? Oh, that's bullshit. You're bullshit. Who the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> you stupid bastard. <laughs> you asshole son of a bitch. You motherfucker. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> You're not a decent fucking human being. You got any more to say? You fucking dirtwad. <laughs> Give me your name, you cocksucker. <laughs> Julie. <laughs> Hello. You sorry, bitch. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Hello. Motherfucker, I'm on probation. What's that supposed to mean to me? Do you think I'm playing? Do you think I'm playing with you? <laughs> I know you're playing with me. I'm talking about you, Shuli, you, you fucking uh, worm. Who are you, man? Who are you? Shuli. Who? Shuli. And what do you want with me? You fucking dirtwad. <laughs> you asshole. What do you want? I would appreciate it if you stayed the fuck out of my business and do not come near me or my family. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> I gotta tell you, son. Your act is a piece of shit. <laughs> next time you call here, next time you call here, mother, I'm calling the cops. Be so kind to stay the fuck out of my face forever, you sorry motherfucker. <laughs> you asshole. God damn it. God damn it. 
You call here anymore, and I am calling the police. <laughs> Sorry, bitch. Auto mechanic. Hi, how you doing, sir? I'm all right. How about yourself? I actually was calling because I had a little bit of problems with my car backfiring this morning. And... Well, we're here, 7.30 to 4 o'clock, Monday through Friday. I'm out here on my grandson's cell phone. Can I start the car and you can kind of tell me how what it sounds like to you? All right, come on. Good Lord, man, I will tell you, listen to it over the phone, I really can't say, but it sounds pretty bad. Well, let me give her another shot here just real quick. Any ideas? They sound like you got a bad motor, is what it sound like. <laughs> yeah, it sound like something rolling around in the motor's come loose. So, oh, like a loose spark plug or something? Or? Sound like a rod or something done come loose in that thing. What kind of car is it? 74 olds. Man, that's too old. We don't work on anything that old. <laughs> sound like you done lost a rod is what it sound like to me. Well, I guarantee you it sounds pretty bad. Hmm. Uh, I don't know what to tell you to do with that, but like I said, we don't work on anything that old. Well, thank you very much, thank Sonny. Thank you. Sorry I couldn't help yeah. you too much. Wouldn't be funny if the guy said, sounds like you're taking a shit. <laughs> you cocksucker. Hello? Hey, how you doing? Oh, not bad. Hey, I saw your son. You still got the dough and heat, uh, the the deer piss? Yes, sir. Oh, good deal, good deal. How much you got? Uh, I got lots of it. Where exactly did you get that from? Yeah, I have 12 deer out there in the backyard. Now, like how much would I be able to buy a lot, like maybe a gallon of piss? Or? Uh, it's ex more expensive. Uh, yeah, how much for a gallon? A gallon's like $400. Oh, really? Well, yeah. it'd be worth it. I I like it. So. Yeah. Now, how's it smell? Excellent. I bring my does in to heat early, and actually I got to do one today. Oh, what do you do to them? Uh, we give them a shot of uh, hormones. I don't really hunt or anything, but I just like it. Yeah. Would you mind, like, could I drink the urine in front of you? or? Uh, I don't care. You've never heard anybody doing that. Oh, you haven't? Would I be able to maybe just have the deer go on me directly, or do I just got to buy the, the in the jar? If that's what you like. Do you have any videos of them peeing or anything that I could buy maybe, too? No, but you could shoot your own if you wanted to bring a camera. How much, if I laid down, would it be for the, the deer to pee in my face? You want a deer to what, pee on your face? Yeah. Would you let it do pee in your face? No, I don't think so. Oh, would you pee in my face while the deer nah, does? No, no, I ain't like that, no. Oh, you never tried that? No. Nah. Oh, okay. Would you sell me your urine if you peed in a, a bucket or something? Or? I ain't never heard of that kind of stuff, man. If you wanted to pee in a cup and throw up my face, that'd be fine. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, you wouldn't do that? No. Nah. Oh, huh. Well, would you let me put the deer in heat, too? Or? I don't know about all that. I couldn't, like, rub it and turn it on and stuff? If you want to do that. Oh, is that be an extra charge? Or... There you go. I'll let you mount one of the deer if you want. Oh, how much would that be? Fifty bucks. Oh, that's a good deal. Now, do you have any boy deers? Yeah, you don't want to mess with them. They'll kill you. Would you let me touch the boy deers and, the, like, their penis and stuff? I don't think you could do that. How come? They ain't going to let you. Well, if you, if you put them in a cage, they would. Uh. I don't know about all that. If I gave you $700, would you hold the boy deer while I jerk it off? I don't think so. Not for $700? No. Huh, I'm well, telling you, they'll kill you. Really? Yeah, they don't play around. They don't like that? No. When, when, a, when a buck comes into heat, yeah. they, then they smell them does with that hot pussy. Uh huh. They'll fuck you up, man. They don't. They don't like it. If I put the doe urine on me, like on my back, would would the male deer mount me? I don't know about all that. But I would wouldn't want to be in that kind of liability because they got horns on them.
If I signed a waiver, like if you a, signed a waiver, yeah, I'd be all right with that. But like I said, these deer are pretty uh, aggressive. Well, what about deer semen? Do you have any of that? Or? No, I don't extract it. Oh, could I extract it if I came down? Yeah, come on down. Oh, okay. I'll see you be here. Well, I could be there within the hour or so. All right, we'll see you. Hello? Hi, how are you doing, today, sir? I'm doing pretty good, sir. I'm sorry, is there something wrong with your I, phone? No, it's something wrong with your phone. Yeah, I'd like to shoot my load all over your face. I already saw the port furniture. Do you have hairy balls? Have any what, sir? Hairy balls? Yeah. Do you have a tight asshole? You're breaking up. I can't understand you. Can you hear me okay? No, I can't hardly hear you, sir. I was wondering, can I come there and put my finger in your butt? Yeah, you can come here. I'm here. Yeah, I'm calling because I want to suck your cock. Okay, McClark, yeah, I still got it. man wanted to buy it and said he's going to come by. But you know how that is. I would like to turn your asshole, please. Okay. My uh, address is <laughs> Drive. You'll see the yard sale signs up. Well, I'm kind of in a hurry. I just want to come there and fuck your butthole. Okay, well, come on. Would you mind showering my face with your hot, creamy jizz? <laughs> yeah, I already sold my place sold. Yeah, can I come there and suck on your Yeah, balls? yeah, I'll be right here. Can I come there and shove a bat in my asshole? I, the only thing I can hear you, you, you're coming here, I'll be here. Do you have a tight asshole? My ass a phone? Yeah. Yeah, I have some of them work. <laughs> I'd really like you to take a shit on my chest. Sir, the only thing I can tell you to do is come by here. I can't understand you at all. Would you mind if I gobbled your fifth cup? Okay, with my clock. Yeah. Yeah, I still got it, I said. Just come yeah, can I come there and suck on your balls? Yeah. Would you mind pouring <laughs> chocolate onto my shaft while I jerk so off? I don't know what kind of phone you got, but I'm here. You can come and look at anything you want to look at. Yeah, I want to tickle your balls. Yes, if you just come to drive, I'll be here. Okay, go f*** yourself. All right. So... Uh, welcome to Beyond. Hi, how are you? Thanks for taking my call. You're welcome. Hi, I was wondering, um, I'm having a little family troubles now. We have your birthday, yes. please, and first that made your birthday. April 9th, 1975. Yes. And I'm having troubles with my son. Yes. He's been jacking off into the laundry. Uh, we're going now to line number... Number three. Uh, welcome to Beyond. <laughs> yeah, okay, sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, so it's very, very, very important. And um, uh, it's important that we really uh, get our integrity together and establish um, what we're trying to accomplish in this lifetime. And we're very serious about it because uh, time does come and time, does good come, time goes by very quickly. Right. And uh, we have to maximize our life and our time so we can... Uh, manifest, uh, manifest our destiny in this world. We're going now to line number, number one. one. Welcome to Beyond. Uh, <laughs> yes, that must be retarded Ed. Uh, anyways, these people are really a waste of uh, life altogether. Uh, welcome to Beyond. Hi, how are you? <laughs> What's your name, please? My name is Tony from Staten Island. Your, uh, your birthday, please? 10869. Yes. Now, is there any way you can use your site to locate a, a location, an address? What is your question, please? Well, I, we're looking to locate somebody. Uh, apparently, I called my wife. She's been fucking so... Uh, uh, um, well, these people are pathetic. Um, so, basically, we're wasting our time. Sorry about that, really. We're wasting our time. Um, welcome to Beyond. Hi, this is Timothy from Holbrook. Yes, Timothy. Uh, I need to know... What is your birthday, please? My birthday is March 1st, 1972. Yes. Is it possible that I caught AIDS because I got drunk and ended up blowing up fat? Um... <laughs> <laughs> the program is a very valuable time we have here, and um, <laughs> the, these people uh, who are pathetic, wasting our time, I believe. We're, we're missing out on his predictions. Sorry for them, you know. But um, 
So all these people who are calling with these um, very uh, pathetic questions, um, uh, just take a pathetic life and shove it. Wow. You know where. Where the sun don't shine, okay? Because nothing in your life is going to work out. If you call a show like this and waste the time, it's going to come right back to you and you're to hell with you. <laughs> okay. I'm interested um, in experiences you've had on the spiritual level. And, um, okay, we're, go we're going now to our first caller. Uh, welcome to Beyond. Hello. Yes, welcome to Beyond. Michelle. Make your name, please, and your birth date. J.D. Harmeyer. Your birthday, please? 20th, 1931. What's your question, please? Can you hold on a moment? I just should have a condom for... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, but any, anyway, so we have your number there, and we'll be con contacting you, and uh, uh, I'm not going to waste our time with such people. Welcome to Beyond. Wow. Yeah, hi, this is Toby. How are you? Birthday, April 1st, 1973. Thank you. Can yeah, I get a prediction? Uh, when's my black day going to come? Can I poop on me? Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, we have your number, and we'll be calling you, um, and um, that's quite, um, uh, quite pathetic. Uh, anyone who's sending out negative energy, energy at this program, I want to tell you right now on the air, in the next seven days, you're going to experience something terrible in your life, and uh, whatever you're sending here is going to be bounced back right at you, and I'll be laughing when that happens. Ooh. So, um, God bless you, and enjoy your little um, uh, retribution, because so you're going to get it. Good afternoon, and welcome to Telepsychic, and thank you for calling. How you doing today? Yeah, uh, we talked before. Uh, yeah, it's been about a year or so, I guess, since we've talked. How have you been? Okay. I, I, I had a question about my professional life. Yeah. About my job. Okay. I'm a college basketball coach. Yeah, I know you are. Yeah. And you got the mouth to prove it. Uh, what are my balls going? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Hello. Uh, uh, line one. Hello. Okay, we're in line one. You're on. Hello, Morris. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Love the show. You do, huh? Yes. Big. I'm glad you're back. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, the maybe we have the phone number for them in person. Okay. Good afternoon. And welcome to Telepsychic, and thank you for calling. Hi, hi, Morris. Yeah. Hi. That's one of our interns, I think. Um, I, I'm calling in regards to, to my Grandma Caprio. Uh, what? <laughs> I, I'm calling in regards to my Grandma Caprio. Uh-huh. Yeah, um... Is she in your heart very deep? Yeah, yeah, she is in my heart very deeply, but she, she her health, it's something about her health. She Tell me what is going on with it. She's in your heart very deeply at this point, okay? She has a beer bottle stuck in her pussy, boys. A beer bottle... <laughs> okay. You got the number? Can I have it? Uh-oh. Come on, give it to me now. No, come on, give it to me now. Okay. Good afternoon and welcome to Telepsychic and thank you for calling. Hi, Morris, are you there? Uh, what? Hi, I have a question about my long-distance boyfriend. Uh, yeah? <laughs> I, just, I don't know if he's... What are you saying? Okay. I need the number, Jim. No, 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 no. I want the number. I want to give it out. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, let me give it out. <laughs> it's this? Okay. No, I'm not going to call 3 o'clock in the morning. He's going to get calls right now. Okay, this is 212. <laughs> How do you like that? You cocksucker. Good afternoon and welcome to Telepsychic and thank you for calling. Good afternoon, Morris. How are you? All right, and you? Uh, this is a calling because I'm concerned about my wife's health. Okay. Uh, the eyes, what happened to the eyes? The eyes are fine, uh, but her pussy smells like rotten eggs and fish. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome to Telepsychic and thank you for calling. Okay, can you do me a favor? Step back from your TV a little bit. <laughs> Down a little bit more, sir. Okay, okay, we gotta go. Good afternoon and welcome to Telepsychic. Thank you for calling. Hello, Lawrence. Yeah. Thanks for taking my call. Um, I went to the doctor today and 
I don't have much time. Uh, you don't have much time? You're dying? I've got cancer in my cock. Huh? I have cancer in my cock. Good afternoon and welcome to Telepsychic. Thank you for calling. Hi, Morning. Good afternoon and welcome to Telepsychic. Thank you for calling. Hi, Morris. How are you? Good afternoon and welcome to Telepsychic. Thank you for calling. Good afternoon. Ah, ha, 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 I feel like he's swatting flies every yeah. time he smacks that thing. Yeah. Okay, who's... Come here. Okay, we are back again. Let's try one more time and then we'll go into talking. Good afternoon and welcome to Tele Psychic and thank you for calling. Boris, do not allow these morons to get to you, please. Uh, and you're one of them. <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome to Tele Psychic and thank you for calling. Morris? Yeah. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Is this Morris? No. Good afternoon and welcome to Tele Psychic and thank you for calling. Hi, um, I wanted to get a prediction about my new job. Okay. Now that's the intern. Okay. But then they get on and he hangs up. <laughs> Wait. Hey, um, I wanted to get a prediction about my new job. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is he getting? <laughs> the phone. Okay, let's go to a break. We didn't recognize the effect, the, the, that T word, coupled with bin Laden, coupled with politics, which have never been popular in this sure. country, uh, had. And um, that is how I think the jury got to where they're very fearful, very much convinced that they had something to fear. We'll talk about that more. We'll try a call here. Hi, you're on. Hello. Yes, go ahead. You're on. Hi, um, Lynn. Yes. I, uh, I, I, I'm t having a hard time hearing you back, but, uh, Lynn, I, I think it's great that you're on, and I followed your case in the case of, uh, Sheikh Omar Abdul Rahman. Um, I am a member of the ACLU, and I know you're overweight, but I would like to lick your pussy. Oh, and I know you're <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> that's, uh, that's almost a guy that's in the Howard Stern school. <laughs> I'm questioning. Okay, well, I'm sorry for that. But we're going to move on after, after a much needed laugh. Ah, oh, yes, it breaks the tension. It does, does, does it? Indeed. It does yes. indeed. 30 years I may be facing, but, but there are still these wonderful nut jobs uh, that are in New York. And the Trading Post returns. Yes, a Thursday. 9.53 and phone calls. Let's take one. Good morning. You're on the program. Thanks for calling. Hi. Hi. Good morning. God bless. Yeah. Hi, sir. <laughs> I'm curious. What's the call-in number for the trading post? Well, uh, probably the number you used. Uh, <laughs> Zero five is is who I call to get into the trading post. Oh yeah, well you're actually on the trading post right now. Uh, th is this the office or who do I c who's on the trading post? Well, uh, I'm on the trading post and you're on the trading post, but we're like uh, on a seven second delay. So if you're listening to the radio, you can't hear it. But Well, my grandson told me to ask for the number to the trading post. Oh, I see. Well, if you want the right number, uh, it is 05. Oh, so I can just hang up and call. It's on the air now, right? You're on the air now. You are on the radio worldwide. That's what I wanted to call and ask about some I some computer items. So, if uh, I how much longer is the show on so I can call? I mean, people are listening to us talk. Who in your office? All over the whole uh, county and uh, across the globe on the world wide web. <laughs> right now. Well, yes. Oh my goodness, Lord! I'm yeah. Wow, I didn't know I was on the radio. Now I'm you sorry. certainly are. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, now I'm going to be nervous. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. Let's uh, let's what what's going on? What have you got, or what are you looking for? Oh, 
Oh, well, thank you. Good, good morning. Hello. Let's start over again. Good morning. You were on the trading post. Okay. Wonderful. A gentleman had some computer stuff that my grandson was curious about. Oh, sure. Yeah, he had that GameCube. He had the laptop. He had a computer, desktop computer. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, what What were the items? I got to hold on. I got to write them down for him now. All right. Um, uh, here we go, then, uh, if you're ready for it. Uh, I'm ready when you are. Computer, a desktop computer, a laptop computer, a GameCube. Oh, uh, slow down. I'm sorry. I can't write very well. Well, just say computer I stuff. Arthritis. You know, don't call him up well, and find out. Yeah. Well, he, well, he thought he had read it off on the radio. Yeah, well, you just call him and ask him yourself, yeah. Well, could you just read them items one more time? I'm sorry. Desktop computer. Desk. Uh, oh come on! Uh, um, we've got other callers. Uh, is there anything? Yeah, is there anything else? You know, we got other people waiting to get on a laptop computer and a GameCube. You just have to remember that. Well, can you just hold on while I write those two down? Let well, I can't because we have other things to do. Come. Computer. Okay. Hey, thank you for the. And a Game Boy. Uh, GameCube. Okay. Hold. Oh, you're fading. You're fading. Yeah, I can't hear you. Oh, you're fading out. I'm sorry. Okay. Hey, thank you for the call. Okay, let's uh, continue with the program. Good morning. Thank you for calling. You're on the Trading Post. Hi there. Hello. Yeah. How you doing? Pretty good. Uh, this is Phil. I'm 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 from Shale Farms. This is Phil Acio. Hi. And uh, I got a bit of a problem here. Is this Trading uh, Show program? Well. Yeah, what's, what's, yes it is. Somebody at your office just gave uh, an elderly woman uh, my phone number somehow that's similar to your phone number. She keeps calling me up asking for uh, computer items, Game Boys, and whatnot. Oh, no. Okay. I got a business to run over here, and this lady keeps calling. I just don't know what the hell's going on. Well, I'm sorry about that. Sorry. That's all you've got to say, you dumb jackass? Don't have a call. And anyway, uh, <laughs> good morning. You're on the trading post. Thanks for calling. Hi. Hello, Phil Acio. What? Whoa, whoa. Why do you keep hanging up and cussing me? I just want to know and, about your oh, Game Boy. And we stuff. lost that call. That's too bad. <laughs> and of course, uh, this is the uh, last call of the show. Good morning. You're on the program. Hi. Yeah, you got to tell that old hag to stop calling me. You gave her the damn wrong number. Uh, 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 what? I said you gave her the goddamn wrong number, you waterhead. Uh, this old bitch calls me one more time. I'm going to rip your dick yeah, off. Uh, anyway, we'll be back with more trading posts. Whoa. I love that. So good to have you uh, with us this morning on this Tuesday morning. Fob shop, good morning. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Doing fine. I can't get a lesson. Beg your pardon? I lost my helmet. I lost my helmet. Lost the helmet. Let me give you the number of the car. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. I forgot my phone number. Can you give me my phone number, sir? I need your phone number. Can you give me my phone number, sir? Yes, please. Do you know my phone number? I don't know what your phone number is. I need my phone number. Do you know my phone number? If you have a phone number, give it to me. If you move my phone number, please call me. So I'll good morning. Hey, it's me again. Yeah, get out of here. Moving right around on this morning, 25 minutes after 9 o'clock, and uh, everything can happen on Tuesday. No doubt about it. <clears throat> Moving right along this morning. Pops up, good morning. Who's this? Oh, get out of here. And moving right along this morning, and uh, we uh, continue on. Our shop, good morning. Stop bothering me. Yeah, you crazy rascal. <laughs> As we continue on this morning, and. Uh, our shop, good morning. Why well, are you calling me? Yeah, I'll call you something, all right. Let's move right along this morning. Mm hmm. As we uh, continue on this morning. <laughs> our shop, good morning. I'm retarded. Always something. As we uh, continue on this morning, and uh, no doubt about it, we'll uh, let's try this one. 
Swap shop, good morning. <laughs> swap shop, good morning. We'll take a break here, Jack. Uh, back in just a moment. <laughs> It's often imitated but never duplicated. The original swap shop. Now, here's your host of the original swap shop. And welcome back to the swap shop. You're on the air. Hi, good morning. How are you? Hello. I love when you buy. I love when you sell. It drives me crazy. I I can't understand you. I have some items for sale. Okay, some items for sale. I am selling my TV home. Okay. Do you want to buy my TV home? TV? Everybody loves my TV home. Only five dollars. Hey, I can't understand you. I'm sorry. I love all wrinkled peanuts. Thank you. Do you have all saggy balls? I'm sorry. I can't hear you. I'm going to have to. I love saggy balls. You're on the air. Yeah, what was the phone number for the pubic hair that's... For the what? The pubic hair. Now, I, I don't keep up with stuff like that, fella. You need to get a life. You know what? You certainly do, or see a strength one. You're on the air. I have time pass for some. My butt got really fat, and I can't put in my vagina anymore. Five dollar, guys, for the huge tampon. Thank you. You want my tampon? <laughs> You're on the air. Uh, good morning, Spanish lady. Uh, how much would, did you want for those huge tampons? I don't know and uh, really don't care. Uh, you need to either see a shrink or get a life. One of the two, whichever, you know, you need. I'm not sure which it is. So, uh, rain in the forecast for today. Uh, glad to see the rain myself. You're on the air. You have a big thing? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have all that? No, I sure don't. Cut them off. Anyway, we'll be right back uh, here on the Swap Shop. More of your calls are coming up after the break on the original Swap Shop. Alzheimer's Association, Lamar speaking. Hello. This is very embarrassing, but there's something I need to tell you. Hello. I'm listening. He's got crabs. You have only one testicle that's now functioning. I do? Yes. I, yeah. So I have crabs and I only have one testicle that's functioning? Yeah. How do you yeah. know that? You don't have to protect your testicle. Oh, thank okay. goodness, ma'am. Are you going to protect it for me? Yeah. There's no oh, way so you can sweet. make your penis any bigger. Oh, you're so kind. Well, you if can you have pull your penis. Think about as far as Alzheimer's go, you can call back any time. We're here 24 hours a day, seven days All a right. week. All right. Oh yeah, right. Absolutely. Sex will You're be so sweeter. Sweet. You if have you a wonderful rock weekend. Your Peter. Alzheimer's Association. Lamar speaking. Hello. How are yeah. you? Are you there? Yep. How are you? I'm well. How can I help you? I'm 58 years old. I wear 36 double D. Oh, that's Am exciting. Am I making you hot? Oh, yeah, that's hot. Can I put my finger in your ass? Oh, that absolutely, ma'am. That would be oh. lovely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've stoked through my depends. Alzheimer's Association, how can I help you tonight? Oh, I've got someone on the phone. Yes, how are how you? How can I help you? Hi. Are you there? Yes, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, can I help you with something? Yeah. Yeah, what do you Are you, you stroking your cock? Yeah, I can talk. Who is What this? size penis do you have? 
ma'am, you need to stop calling. Otherwise, I'm going to call the police and ask that they come over and help you. I wanted to let your ass by. Do you need help? Yeah. Yeah? What's your name? Me, Blue Iris. Iris? What's your last name? What? Because I think you need some help. You're calling the helpline. I think you yes. need help. Yes. Yes, I did. Yeah? What's your last name? I'm Otherwise, touching the inside of my thighs. What? I'm touching yeah. the inside of my thighs. I hope you're starting to oiling up your cock. All right. What do, what do they say that? Uh, shake them around. Whack them on the mattress or the floor and watch your pillows come back to life. How's that? All right. In the meantime, let's go to the phones. Good morning. You're on the swap shop. Good morning, Ron. It's yeah. Eileen. Hi, Eileen. How are you? Listen, whoever the clown is, yeah. the sophomore clown, if you would like to either give me on air or off air the caller ID number or, or numbers that come up, even if they've been rerouted. Mm-hmm. Huh, wait a minute, wait. I'm not answering. Who? Somebody's answering here. That was. I can. Was, hear. I'm gonna turn that off. That's uh, that's not even a legitimate call. Somebody had taped the radio from yesterday's uh, show and then played it back over the air just now. Oh, very. You think you're clever, right? Think you're clever. Ah, not so, I guess. All right. What else do we have here on the swap shop? Forty uh, gallon aquarium with filter. And some accessories and a stand with a cabinet, $200. Call Shirley in Downingtown. All right, back once again. Good morning. You're on the swap shop. Anytime that happens again. Okay. All right, just cut that off. Okay, uh, Bobby wants a push mower up to $50 for a small yard. Call him at 484 639 Three four one five, and also a pair of ladies' ice skates, figure skates, size nine. They're brand new in the box. They've never been used, and they are white. Twenty five dollars. Call Harold at six ten two eight six five three five eight. Back to the phones. Good morning. You're on the swap shop. Good morning, Ron. It's Eileen. Hi, Eileen. Listen, whoever the clown is, yeah. the sophomore. Okay. All right. Turn that off. All right. So the guy uh, is either on vacation or he was fired. <laughs> Probably fired from his current job, so he has nothing better to do to exercise his meager brain. All right. So what else do we have here? A 1987 Oldsmobile Sierra. All right. Let's go back to the fine to the lines. Good morning. You're on the swap shop. All right, you're not. All that time you were there, nobody answered. All right, time right now is 1030-610-444-9721. Back to the phones. Good morning. You're on the swap shop. Okay. Hello. Hi, Lee. Guess not, right? <laughs> All right, so lines are open once again. Uh, six ten seven zero one nine two four three. What else do we have here? A good morning. You're on the swap shop. <laughs> good morning. You're on the swap shop. Listen, whoever the clown. Mm-hmm. All right, he sort of figured that anyway. Uh, ten forty one W C H E. How about a little music keep you entertained? Hey, Paisan, you got an apartment for rent? Yes. Oh, good. My name's Pasquale. Who is it? Pasquale Monacotti with a good Tony Bruschetta Parmesan. What's going on? Yeah. Uh, let me ask you something. You're, 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 you're a Paisan like me, right? Uh-huh. How's the neighborhood? That's what I want to know. Oh, the neighborhood. You know, I'm there. It's got to be good. No Moulinians, right? We have one right next door to me, but they're never there. They're, they don't live there. Mean, you got a Moulinian next door? Yeah, uh, but, uh, they're in the city, and they come maybe once or twice a year, that's it. How about the uh, the taco makers? You got any of those bastards over there? There's some up on the other end of the street. Uh, how quick can I get in there? 
It's ready now. It's ready now. Mean, you're great. I got a Mexican friend of mine. This cocksucker just jumped the border in Texas. He needs a place to stay. Oh, no, no, no. no. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Jimmy, good news. Get off the lawnmower. Pick up the phone. Hey, Bendeco, how you doing? All right. Que pasa, el puta? I didn't get what you said. Hey, Bendeco, this is Jimmy Chong at Conqueso Salsa Verde, Speedy Gonzalez. Uh-huh. At the apartment, uh, available now? No, 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 no. Oh, come on, Bendeco, we smoking a ganja. I don't know what the ganja is, what? Marijuana. Oh, no, I don't do none of that stuff, no. Hello? Yeah, let me speak to me, man. Huh? I said cracker. Yeah. Yeah, what's happening, motherfucker? What's happening? What do you mean? I'll tell you what I mean, sucker. This is Lester Cheeto's Crypt to Sokra, and I need a crypt to crash my ass in. You got that apartment, white boy? Yeah. Yeah, cool. I'll scrape together some ducats and bring down my posse right now. Eh, uh, but I think I have it already somebody might be interested in. What you mean by somebody, Cracker? When I get down there, nobody's showing up. Believe that. Well, I'm gonna well, come down well, there today. Well, I got my blunts, I got my bitches, I got my ghetto boombox. I'm gonna blast that shit through the block, motherfucker. No, no, none of that. None, none of that, my head plays, you know. Oh. How you doing? All right. I'm calling about the apartment for rent. My name's Carlin Dewar's your cabbage. I just moved here from Ireland. You still got the apartment? I think you're full of shit, you know? What? What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, you called me the other day, too, huh? I did. I just moved here from Ireland. I'm drunk on whiskey. I, I get fucking pissed off if you talk to me like that. I pretend. <laughs> Antonio on line two. Yeah. Yes, I am. Okay. We will. Okay, yeah, we have. A, okay. Dad, is there anything you want to say to him first, Santa? Tell San Antonio that we will try to make his Christmas as merry as possible. Okay, hold on. We will try to make your Christmas as merry as possible. He's signing back on her. Okay. He said, thank you so much, Santa. And you tell San Antonio we will make sure that he gets a lot of surprises to boot. Santa will get you lots of surprises to boot. <laughs> he just, no, he, he, my son just signed back. He doesn't want boots. <laughs> well, you tell him we're just going to get him a lot of surprises, okay? He said he's going to get you lots of surprises. <laughs> no, not pri he thinks it's a pri He thinks he's going to win a prize because this is a TV show. <laughs> he's, got, he's confused. Oh, well, you just tell him we're going to see that he has a very Merry Christmas, okay? Santa said that he wants you to make sure that you have a very merry Christmas. Oh, I see some. Oh, <laughs> he's so, he wants to know how big your balls are. <laughs> he's crazy. Oh, he's a little nutty. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, thank you for calling, and we'll take care of him, okay? Can you tell us how big your balls are for my son, Santa? Okay. So, anyhow... That was, that was very nice. Yeah, that was very nice, very nice. Wow. So far, so good, and, you know, we have, we have, every year we always have something to well, What a lovely group of kids calling. Oh, yeah, you, we, huh? you know, every now and again we have to get somebody that's a little off Air to one you. side. And, uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> no presents for you. Yeah, you know, um. That's one of the, the downsides to this job. That's right. You have to take requests from well, just about right. everybody. Just about so, everybody. You know, it makes it quite interesting to say the least. Yeah. We too. Hey, we got another phone call. Oh. We got Rusty on line too. Hi, Rusty. Merry Christmas. Oh, actually, this is Rusty's grandma. Ethel. Hi, Santa Claus. Hi. How are you today? This doesn't sound like Rusty to me. 
Uh, Unbelievable. Yeah, you know, <laughs> not enough Rusty's, you know. Anyhow. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Richard. Yeah. <laughs> good one. Exactly. That was a good one. So, you know, it's... <laughs> It's had to. It's had to go through with with uh, That's awesome. some of these calls because they ruin it for the the other kids. That's right. Know? Yeah. They really do. They. That's good. They're taking it away from from uh, from the other kids, and that's that's sad. That's sad. What are you gonna do? We have to deal with it. <laughs>